Second snap value ban. Yep. This is Shit. how we do in the Shadow League. You ban the character you understand the least. I think the main problem with that card is that it's a through route. It just like heavily telegraphs what you're trying to do, but usually, I guess, anyway. Just some interesting stuff with Swing and Pierce and that. Oh, hold on. Okay, both Mulligan too. Hmm. Not sure why you would keep Slash, but... I think perhaps the breaker did not bring enough attacks, but we'll see. So he's not is he not running the Oh there it is, okay. Yeah, alright. No, I don't want to talk about that. Okay, some pressure. Uh, me? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Sync strike value. Yeah, that's pretty good. All those good cards left in the deck, so definitely redrawing it. You're gonna force breaker to move up more. Do you want to force the polite return? Range, not there. Also, he didn't close his umbrella at the end of his turn. Yep, very unfortunate.
Breaker is getting a lot of flare though, so that's solid. Got the aggression going on. And Maru discarded Brandish, so yeah, there's not really going to be a lot of horror pressure. This will get glancing or flight returned. Most likely, right? Yeah. Yeah. Always polite return that. You're not really gonna find a better target at this point. Really want to play around the chain reel. Is chain reel still up? Um I think it's not, it can't be, yeah. One two. I'll remind them about the damage. Oh, yeah. Is it worth using Song and Dance to top deck your Glancing Strike again? Potentially getting mauled next turn. You'd have to get pretty lucky on his draws, right? Here's a question for you then. When it comes to like gameplay etiquette, quite often on Tabletop Simulator we see people laying their opponent's cards out so they can see what they've played. But would that be typical to do in person? Oh, I think like most tournament games that I've, oh, I've only seen a couple, they, they just play with all their discard fanned out so everyone can see what's in there. But so you shouldn't have to dig through. But I don't know. I don't think there's anything wrong with that because that's supposed to be open information. No, but yeah. But it's then it's like touching asking, people's cards, right? I guess what I'm asking more than that is not displaying a discard, but like like Maru here has a physical copy of everything the opponents played, so they don't have to rely on their memory. And then the question uh, you mean the reference track? No? Yeah. Is a in a in a competitive game, is the remembering what cards your opponent has part of the game? Oh yeah, that depends on what your opponent thinks, probably. I think on our server that no one's really objected to it at all. I think mm, if you were at like an in-person tournament somewhere in Japan or something, it'd probably frown on it, but I'm not no sure. idea on Japanese rules. No idea on official Japanese rules. You wouldn't really have time to track cards like that, right? Because it's like... Right, it's also timed. Do you know in level 99 such are games that they don't mind if you have a tracker? Also know that they won't mind if you, in physical games, that if you just bring a pencil and paper, you keep track. Yeah, that's kind of what Blizzard decided with Hearthstone, right? Also, that like, they would allow scripted deck tracking because people could do it themselves, paper and pencil anyway, as long as they could do it. As long as not doing anything they couldn't do with paper and pencil, they were fine with it. 
but I feel like it does do things you can't do with paper and pencil. At least I don't think anyone would deck track with paper and pencil. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. Don't play that here. What's the oh wait, no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I thought he had hit the flare cause ten already. Soft hearted. Mighty stack of seven charge. You rolled the dice on it being brandish. Oh. Holy shit, it's soft hard. Yeah. I think that may have been a little early. Maybe not. It does last forever. Holy shit, he found the time to actually play soft hard. Have enough shadow for it. Just barely. Did he bring the Yuki He attack that comes his back to hand? Yeah. But it only does that when you're closed, Umbrella. Yeah. Should have closed the Umbrella, probably. Oh, yeah. He could have done that after the throughout. So that's the chain reel. No flare for uh, Spine Flame now. It's the uh, needles. I don't think he took charge from Swaying Flame either. Probably do that. At some point. <laughs> okay. make the mistake of uh oh that's bad order right you win run and then do that if you wanted to go for something fine you wanted to have your swing flame dodged Or you could just discard it and get that to your aura. They're putting it in shadow. This is way too all in. It doesn't have range.
He doesn't understand the card, I guess. I think Maru called out because I saw him dragging a line on the distance. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how you get range 2 being functional with that. It's like 0 through 6. <laughs> well, now you song and dance this, right? No? Okay. Yeah, I guess you'd prefer just have him spin the flare on it and crush his dreams. When is the next tournament going to be? Um, I don't know if M4 is going to want to delay it at all or not after this week. I just go straight into it. He might delay it to see if other people want to join or if people want to leave or whatever. We can reorganize everything. Uh, right. We can... I'll just ask him. But... We have had a lot of new players join, so it would be good to at least see if they're interested before starting an Exxon. I know the level 9 in 9 release gets a lot of heat, but it did certainly bring more people into the game. Oh, for sure. I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for the level 9 on Kickstarter. Hmm. I might be interested in joining, so yeah. Fresh blood. I'm going out first. Thank you for the game. See you. See you. Goodbye. All right. What happened to Swaying Flame? Um. What did happen to Swaying Flame? I must have missed it. Did it hit Aura? No, there wasn't enough Aura for that. Oh, did it get Uranami stormed? I... Oh, yeah, that's what happened. It got Uranami and took the two Aura. I don't know why you would Uranami that when you can. I guess you do the Aura then. Maru playing very confidently there knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah, sunny stage, two bigger. your aura and you have play return online which didn't matter at this range at all got the rider cards that's good you need to go to range one and you can start playing them
Can you nominate Claw of Regrowth for Claw of Regrowth, or is it still resolving? You can't nominate it itself, but if you were doing like a weird Duple Gear build, you could, I think, grab a different Claw of Regrowth with Claw of Regrowth. Every rules question in Sakura Arms ends up with, unless you're doing a uh, Duple Gear. Go to do some weird things. Oh, that's. That's looking pretty bad. Yeah, it's thrown out as the attack. Oh, and he's got the Ignorant too. That's so rough. He used to reshuffle his whole deck. That's GG, I think. And it's two life damage, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think it's just a pretty bad game for the breaker too. You didn't know what all his cards did, how it worked. Ended up misplaying that around the swing heart. Swing heart. Yeah, it's rough. Didn't he on that turn? Didn't he discard the um, Ryra card that would have let him get to zero distance anyway? Um, it would have let him get to one distance. You can't play it unless you're at three or greater distance. So he could have done that and then played the reaction to go to zero. But Mario didn't even need to use her anami there. He just uh, plopped out song and dance and then he basically ignored him for a normal. Kept his anami online to keep him alive and in resolve if he ever got there. Or he could have just taken 5 life damage and then turned around and tsukikage him. Alright, what we got? That was a 3-2. Not enough. Yeah. The problem with going open umbrella with Yukihi is you just can't do anything to the aura and that's why uh, Abrupt Transformation is such a strong card. If you can somehow get rid of their aura by some other means, and you just swap to open umbrella, you can uh, just move in and capitalize on that for some more life damage, I guess. Although, really, I guess you're only really getting enhanced life damage with needles and with um, swaying flame. That's game.